हेलो टू एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एनेस्थीसिया सर्किट्स बेसिकली वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मैपलसन सर्किट्स सो फर्स्टली लुक एट वॉट इज द एनेस्थीसिया सर्किट्स बेसिकली सर एनेस्थीसिया सर्किट इज अ कनेक्शन बिटवीन पेशेंट एंड एनेस्थीसिया मशीन टू प्रोवाइड इंस्परेटरी गैसेज टू द पेशेंट एंड टेक अवे द एक्सपायरेटरी गैसेज फ्रॉम द पेशेंट so as you can see the anesthesia circuits can be classified uh, in three categories one is the open second is semi closed and third is closed out of these three open is now clinically not useful semi closed circuit is also known as the mapleson circuit semi closed and closed both circuits are used incorrectly and have their advantages and disadvantages today we will discuss about the various types of the semi closed circuits which are also known as the mapleson circuits so there are various types of mapleson circuits which are developed in due course of time according to their need so firstly we will look at the basic structure and parts of the semi closed circuit so for that i have made a schematic diagram of the semi closed circuit which is showing its parts such as the fresh gas inlet gas comes from this inlet then there is a breathing bag it bag is attached with this circuit it collects and when we push it end it send gases to the patient end the patient end and uh, one is the expiratory valve it is a one way valve which allows to escape the expiratory gases so this is the basic structure of the any mapleson circuit so there is a one basic concept about the circuits which is that the circuit in which expiratory valve this is the expiratory valve is near to the patient end that type circuits are good for the spontaneous ventilation the circuits in which fresh gas inlet is near the patient end those are more useful in the controlled ventilation that is when patient has no respiratory efforts so now we will look at the types of mapleson circuits one by one so we can see here there is a four circuits are drawn a b c d there is a more than this a b c d but we will look one by one first one is the mapleson a this is the basic one it is also known as the magill circuit what is this i am writing it is known as the magill circuit okay mapleson a magill circuit this is the circuit of choice for spontaneous ventilation and can be used for the controlled ventilation but when it is used in the controlled ventilation then it requires around 3 times more fresh gas flow for their proper work so there is also a modification of the mapleson a which is known as the lax system l lax system basically lax system is nothing else is the coaxial variant it is coaxial modification okay so this is the only coaxial modification of the mapleson a in which expiratory valve brought coaxially back to the fresh gas outlet but this is not popular due to inefficiency during the controlled ventilation so now we will see mapleson b and mapleson c basically both are similar and both are inefficient and not used anymore but the basic difference between b and c is that c is more compact the less size of tube in the c and the size of tube is greater in b as both are inefficient circuits now we'll go for the mapleson d this is the circuit which is commonly used for the control ventilation okay this is also a uh, known as the universal circuit because it is most commonly used circuit sir the coaxial modification of this mapleson 
डी सर्किट इज नोन एज द बेन सर्किट ओके सो दिस इज द को एक्जियल मॉडिफिकेशन विच इज नोन एज द बेन सर्किट All these circuits are used A, B, C, D. These all are used in the adults, so they are the adult type systems, and they cannot be used in the pediatric patients. So we will look what changes are made in circuit to make them useful for the pediatric patients. So as we look at the A, B, C, and D Maplesons, now these there are the two circuits which are the basically pediatric circuit mapleson e and mapleson f so what is the basic difference between the adult and pediatric systems the difference is between these are the pressure and re resistance adult systems have high pressure and high resistance which is not suitable for use in the pediatric patient so for this there are the two pediatric systems one is the mapleson e and second one is the mapleson f so we will look both of these two mapleson e also known as the aries t piece okay aries t piece are also known as inverted t shaped circuit inverted t shaped why inverted t shape its look its shape is exactly basically a inverted t this way this is the basic shape inverted t this is the basic shape gas inlet patient end and the outlet that's it so this is the basically inverted t shape that's why there is no expiratory valve you can see there is no expiratory valve and no bag attached to this this circuit is not useful as we cannot interpret about the tidal volume so mapleson e is a pediatric circuit but uh, it is not useful so jackson reeve modification of this aries t piece circuit comes into existence which is known as the mapleson f the basic difference is between the these two is the bag this is the circuit of choice in pediatric patient in both condition spontaneous and when control ventilation and you only used circuit in pediatric patient there is the only difference between e and f is that mapleson f circuit there is having a open ended bag attached with allow respiratory monitoring and assistance in the ventilation so these are the map types of mapleson circuit so we have seen four a type adult types and two are the pediatric type a b c d are the adult in which b and c are not useful a and d are used a is mainly used in the spontaneous and d is the used in the control ventilation and then we go see for the pediatric which have two e and f is not so important because this is a no feature of the tidal volume measurement so this is the f which is used in both the conditions in pediatric that is in whether it is spontaneous ventilation or controlled ventilation in pediatric patient we use the mapleson f so, and the mapleson f is the basically the jackson reeve modification so this is the yeah, jackson reeve modification he attached a open ended balloon so it is the mapleson f so i hope i have given a basics of the mapleson circuits thank you for watching it